Hey guys, it's David with Team 4Runner, and today we're out here in Utah's West Desert with Miles from RLT Suspension. Miles, what are we doing today? Yeah, yeah, so today we're out here in this Dobinson equipped fifth generation 4Runner. We're gonna be fine tuning and really dialing in all of the suspension components that we rebuilt in the shop yesterday. We're out here on the trails now, so we're gonna be dialing in the low speed compression, high speed compression, and the rebound adjustment just to make sure the vehicle is performing as it should out here on the trail. Awesome. Well, I can't wait. I know it's really important to do this, and especially for the weight of this vehicle, we yeah. kind of need it. So Absolutely. I'm really excited. Yep. So I can't wait. Let's get to it. Right now, we're looking at the Firestone truck before we adjusted any knobs on this thing. So we'll see. We'll see how she does. <laughs> All right, Miles, driving that over the whoops was a little rough. How'd it look from the outside? It was definitely looking rough on the outside. We, we need to do some work for sure. The rebound didn't look too bad, but the compression definitely needs some help. So what we're gonna start with is the low speed and the high speed compression adjustment knobs here. And it's not vehicle speed, it's shaft speed. So how, how quickly the shock is traveling back into itself. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I so, had no idea. So the black one is the low speed compression here and that really fine tunes out like the little small chattery type things and mm. the, the purple one, the high speed compression, that's the one that hits the big whoops and that's what really fine tunes out. Awesome. So we need to stiffen that up so we don't bottom out as much? Exactly. Awesome. All right. So let's run it again. Okay. How did that feel? Oh my gosh, so much better. Good, good. So much more planted. We didn't bottom out as much. Like, good. I can actually control the vehicle at speed now. That's oh. what it's all about. It's a night and day difference. Good. All right, Miles, we just got done fine-tuning the Firestone truck with the Dobinson's MRR suspension. Wow, what a world of difference it made. Is this performance achievable out of the box for anybody? Yes and no. So there's quite a bit of adjustment that comes with the Dobinson suspension system, and it depends on three different variables. How much weight you're carrying in the vehicle, if you have a ton of overland camping gear in the rear, if you're carrying any type of trailer, big or small, where you like to drive it, what type of trails you like to drive on, things like that, and how fast you like to drive on those trails. Yeah, and today we were out here in Utah's West Desert and we were driving pretty fast. We, we like to get after it a bit. And Miles, what did you do today? Yeah, yeah, so out here there's obviously some good whoop terrain, things like that, desert terrain. Yeah. So I was playing with the, the low speed compression and the high speed compression adjustments to get those to dial in so we're not bottoming out super harsh in the rear end or the front. Um, the low speed compression, and it's not vehicle speed, it's shaft speed. So oh, okay. the low speed compression is meant more for like rock crawling, boulder gardens, things like that, where you're just kind of flopping over the ter terrain, if you will. The high speed compression, when you're bombing down a desert dirt road, there's a big washout you don't see, and you hit it really hard. You can really dial that in so it's not a big bottom, harsh bottom. I see. Yeah. So in Colorado, we have that super, those boulders, right? So we'd be focusing mainly on like the low speed. Yeah, yeah, the low speed compression is awesome out in Colorado. All of them do work together very well. You need to have the low speed compression, high speed compression, and the rebound adjustment all dialed in for your vehicle and how fast you're driving, where you're driving, and how much weight you're carrying. We've done that now today. You guys need to go have fun with it now in Colorado. Yeah, I'm excited to get it back out to Colorado. Miles, thanks for having us today. And we'll see you guys in the next video.